Hey everybody, welcome back to more Valhalla. Are you all ready for the mega Christmas party of the ages to be remembered, to go down in history? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. No, no waiting, no waiting, no waiting, no waiting. Maybe we can make some money. I'd buy that for a dollar. That dog and a cat, what the f- okay. All right, we're starting off things pretty good. Good evening. Jill, I told you to come in the nicest clothes you have. You came in your uniform. Those are- these are the nicest clothes I have with me. Besides, you and Jill run your uniforms too. That's because the art team didn't di didn't shill out the money uh, to 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 create different outfits for the two of us. Well, I can't really show up in casual clothing. I'm being monitored. What about the kilt you wore that one time? I'm so surprised that one didn't break the dress code somehow. And you, Gil? I don't have that many clothes to begin with. You people depress me. Well, everything's in place back there. Uh, almost here. You know, there was a time when people greeted each other, greeted others before saying stuff like that. Come on, Jill, greet her properly. Welcome to Val- How wait! <laughs> Man, if that's not a sign that you need to ease up on the work, I don't know what is. Shut up, it's become a reflex. Wait, Alma also came in her usual attire. Why aren't you any say why aren't you saying anything to her? Because she's a customer. Rip sweaters get a free pass. Oh, okay. Why? Silly question, never mind, yeah. Jamie came earlier too. The dogs went with him to get some ice. Don't we have ice? Trying to take it out of the bartending station is a chore, so it's better to buy some outside. Huh. What were you doing back there, Alma? Setting up the food warmer. The what? I bought it three days ago. It's amazing. It looks like it just looks it looks like just a set of wires. You can create a frame with them. Put the food inside it and press a button and watch as it warms up the food. Just like a mi it's a portable microwave? It's an infomercial bobble, though, but it's really useful but tricky to handle at the same time. One wrong move and we'll be out of food for the night. Everything will be scorched in a second. Oh. So you brought infomercial stuff too? Haven't you? It's, a, it's, it's at the very least a good idea for gifts. Well, dynamic entry! Finally, at least somebody came after me. Is it weird that I've already heard that stat three, heard that three times in the last hour? <sighs> oh, oh, I get it now. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Yep. That that one took a while. That 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 one that one took a while to understand. Oh, don't be like that. She's not saying it out of malice or anything. She just found it funny. You're t you taking her side now? Jealous? You wish. You don't need to fight for me. We're not. I'll go check the microwave wires thingy. I'm starting to get hungry. Great idea. Hey, Back. Oh. Ah, uh, hello, Jill. Soldier, you're late. Hey, Jay. See, that's how you greet people. You shut it. Ah, uh, I'm so fucking happy. I'll go help. I'll... Really, Dorothy, you're at the animal shelter, but, but you know, what, you don't you not like the dogs? You don't like, you don't like the doggos? I'll go help sweater pups. Something wrong? She's not good with dogs. Oh. All right, we're all here, so we can start. Yo, Anchorage. Alma. I know what I said. How's the food doing? It's doing well, but it'll take a bit. Can't you speed it up? I've used those microwave wire things before. It's either warm nicely but slowly or burn that bitch. So how long? 15 minutes or so. A bell will ring when the time comes. We need to kill some time then. Hmm. All right, let's play Truth or Dare. What? I'll pass. <laughs> Games are for kids. I'm in. Sure, I'll play. Sounds fun as sounds fun as long as that mutt stays away from me. Then I'll make the time pass faster. I'll pay. Europe, you'll play. You don't have a choice, Jill. Oh shit! Oh shit! All right, then rules are simple. If you get picked, you pick either Truth or Dare. Oh shit! Is this an actual game we're gonna play? After you finish, you get to pick somebody else. We go like that until food's done. What about punishment games? Those are a hassle. Just issue new questions or challenges until the other person until the other person complies. That said, Jill. Yes. You start pick someone. Oh, um. Let's see. Oh shit. Uh. uh fuck Gil. Okay. Okay. Again, Gil. What do you pick? Um. Truth. What's your last name? Dare. I pick Dare. Try to make a sugar rush with your eyes closed. Alright. Here. This is a beer. What the? 
Well, it works. I th how did that? How does that happen? My turn, right? Well, me pick me. You the dog. Come on. Dare I dare you? No, I'm the one that dares you. Bring it on. <laughs> um, sit. Sir, yes, sir. You're not sitting. Sir, yes, sir. Whatever you did it. All right, you the blonde. Pet me. Uh, whatever. Your hands are cold. Colder than your usual hands, I guess. All right then, Jill. I'll go with Dare. Give me a shoulder massage. Really? Really? Okay. You are good at this. My grandpa taught me how years ago. How old were you when your grandpa died? Fourteen or so, if my memory serves right. Then he was... Sorry, I need to use the bathroom. Jill, what did that massage do exactly? <laughs> Where were you massaging? It was a regular massage. I might have accidentally unclasped her bra, though, though. Her bra, though. It felt like something snapped. Well, just imagine the pressure the poor thing must be be a subject to. You have a pretty triumphant look on your face, though. Wouldn't you? I wonder. If everyone's done talking about my bra, let's move on. I wonder how long until the food is done. Okay, we're going with Dorothy. Hmm, Dorothy. Yes, I picked Dare. Okay, I want you to put your leg behind your head. Just that? Alright. So the extra flexible joints weren't just a bluff. I never bluff! I'm pretty sure I heard something rip, though. Okay, then Dana. I picked it. No one's ever picking there. I dare you to stare at honey... To stare at honey... Stare at honey straight in the eyes for ten seconds. Mm, sure. Um, is she staring straight into Jill's eyes? But please stop. Seven seconds. And done. Okay then, dog. Yes, challenge me. Chase your tail, but only make three spins. No more, no less. All right. Done. That was four. And now, two. Ah. That was three. Good job. All right. AJ, pick one. Dare. I dare you to call me a good boy. Good boy. Yes! <laughs> I'm getting hungry. Okay, let's see. Uh, Alma! We'll, we'll, do, we'll, we'll do you. Okay, Alma, truth or dare? Hmm, dare. Then I dare you to call Gil by his real name. Gillian. So you can actually do it. Of course I can, but messing with Dilbert is more fun. <laughs> Fucking Dilbert. I wonder if Dilbert is still around in the future. I, I, I wonder, maybe Dilbert will just go on in forever, you know, ad, ad infinitum. You know, even when the universe, even when the heat death of the universe happens, Dilbert comics will still be put out. Well then, Dorothy, truth or dare? I'll pick truth. Do you have any dreams you'd want to eventually fulfill? Well, this might sound silly, but I want to work with kids. Oh, I have a friend that works in an orphanage. I help her from time to time. And I find it so much fun to work with kids, and I can't explain why. If I had to pick another job or think of something I want to eventually try, that would be it. Teacher, nurse, pediatrician, something like that. How oh, sweet. That wasn't an the answer I expected. Me neither. What are you implying? Okay, hey, John, pick! Um, dare. I dare you to say something nice about all of us playing. <sighs> well, you are a pretty cheerful girl, Dorothy. Of course I am. Chief, well, I pretty much owe you everything for giving my life any semblance of order. Of course you do. Alma, you can be a really caring person. Can be. And Jill, you're, you're a pretty smart girl. I wonder if that's true. So is nobody going to say anything nice about him in return? Oh, fuck, did I miss something about the dog? What, what the fuck? What the fuck, Gillian? You left out, you left out, you left out our man, the Rad Shiva. You bastard. What's there to say? He's one of the nicest and most responsible guys I've met. The kind that gets you talking through an expression of sincere interest. The kind of guy that will go to the extra mile even when asked not to. You can always say that more frequently, you know. A bell? Food's ready! Finally! Let's go. You guys go ahead, I'll have a quick smoke outside. Careful! Hey, Alma! Truth or dare, huh? It was fun, I guess. Hey. Uh, oh. I mean, hello. A bit late for the hello, don't you think? Want one? You know I don't smoke. True. Are you leaving already? Yeah, technically we celebrated Mega Christmas yesterday. But I just got a message that Dayana is making a ruckus, so I gotta leave. 
Good luck with that. Speaking of ruckus, how have you been doing? Fine, I guess. All of this has helped keep my mind off things for a while. <sighs> Is it weird to feel the absence of someone you had no contact with whatsoever for the last three years? I mean, when you find out they're dead, that changes things. When, they, when, there's, a, when there's a lack of closure, th th those are all things, you know? Like, you feel their absence because, you know... If, even if you're away from them, people in the back of your head, ah! There, there's a possibility, albeit however slim or awkward it may be, you can never speak or talk to each other again, or mend fences, or break your bread, or whatnot. But now that they're done, you know, you're, you're just over, you know? You, you no longer have the option. Ask Katyusha or any of the old literature maidens whose, whose spouse went to war types. I mean, even if you had no contact with her, maybe she was constantly on your mind. If you tweak the circumstances, it's not that different from one of you going to a war. I guess. Well, although the circumstances make me not want to, I've gotta go. Careful out there. Oh yeah, you should take the chance and spend this time with everyone inside, don't you think? Yeah, she's right. Hey Jill! Hey, Jill's back! Welcome back, Jill. Oh, shit. The red in that moon is being a bit concerning. Ooh. I haven't heard this track before. I'm afraid to click. I'll try it. It's not doing anything. Okay. Does this show a time lapse? Wait, is this the end of the game or is this part three? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Chapter three. Don't say. Okay. Oh, we, that, that's it. We just played Truth or Dare. We don't. We don't know. We didn't get to see the mega Christmas festivities up close. Drink water. I've been recording a lot of parts today, so my, my, my voice is, is taking its toll. Jesus Christ! Ten grand? I don't even have to pay the electric bill. No. Rent is doing the thirty. Please make sure you count for this area bit evicted. You want to see if Alex? N Jill, the fuck? Get your priorities straight. No. I'm using that hoodie a lot like this. Shut up, okay. Yeah, so she's Jill, you know, she, I, I'm guessing, yeah. She, she, she's feeling the Dana uh, quite a bit more these days. Okay. Alex Figurine. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wait, 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 wait. Hang, 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 hang on, okay. The thing is, we still have no power, so will Jill be distracted because of that lack of power? That That is, that is what I'm wondering. That's all, all I'm saying. Alright. Hey, we got new posts. Okay. Change opinions. Model Warrior turns the TV. Anyone watching it? I don't even have a TV. So useless. Julianne is old and busted. I heard you talking shit about my wife. I, I, like, like I wouldn't find out. Is it going to be censored? I don't think so. The show is rather tame. I... Fuck. What is... Shit, I'm Googling. I'm, go I'm Googling right fucking... I'm Googling... As, as far as far as I know, that's what it means. Of course, of course. I, I've re I've remembered that acronym before and forgotten about it. As f it, 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 so as, well as, as far as I know, I'm going to marry Julie. Yeah, that's that person again. Oh man, I remember watching this show back when I was like ten. I think I discovered porn things to it. You'll never discover Rule Thirty Four for the first time again. Why I keep trying? Never seen this show before. It's any better than just a meme. It's a meme show. It's something outstanding. I hope the sequels go to these broadcasts as well. The sequels are shit. I suppose. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's supposed to be like Sailor Moon or something. Is your lip trembling? No. I remember playing Pokemon Go and out raiding. And one, one of the discussions the Pokemon Go normies were talking about is how a lot of them discovered porn through Sailor Moon when they were, when they were young. It's like, okay. All right. This this thing just start talking about to a bunch of people randomly. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go catch uh, you know, some Zapdos, but uh, okay. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay, street motor race at... Street motor... Street race at the Motor City District leaves two dead. 
Motor City District is notorious for the number of illegal street races it sees each week and the dozens of injured drivers at least every year. Last time it has been reported that two people died during a race hosted at the Gate Highway other than Noah, that's always Death Lane. Alright. Death Lane. That seems like a place to have a race in. I mean, it will make you look badass if you if you survive the death lane, but it's called death lane for a reason. The transit, pl the, the transit police is currently investigating the deaths as well as the underground world of legal street racing. We've had several suspects in regards to who was running this underworld, but nothing concrete as of yet. The chief of the transit police department, Jay Esposito, told the Augmented Eye, the death of these two youngsters will be the last. However, that's a prop. Oh, okay. But this defamation campaign has against the district, though. Maybe they want to upend what's happening here, so they're paying as you know, crime-ridden, you know, illegal street racing shitholes. So they can, you know, take over. They have, they have, they'll have the public support to take over. We believe what happens in this cartoon. Cartoons are not for children, but they're still largely colorful. With the themes they touch, have become rather dark. In fact, every cartoon on the air today has its dark themes. It's come to a point where the where innocent animated characters are no longer a thing. I suppose children are young adults from birth now. But enter Touch Fluffy Tail. Ooh. A new show that aims to challenge the current trend. No deep lore, no obscure adult references, no just stupid deep plots. Just a fun with numbers and buff fluffy tales, said a TFT producer who asked to remain anonymous to avoid a backlash. I don't want death threats for making cartoon for actual kids. Stop. I warned you. I I'll, I'll, I touch your tail if I wanna. I re oh, I rescued you. I touch your tail if I wanna. Ah, uh, Forza Google Rescue. Uh... Uh, touch fluffy tail. Oh uh, man, touch. I, I mean, the, the touch fluffy tailings that that, that that I'm aware of. They they are not for kids. That that is, that is for sure. That's that 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 was nice. Glitch City Olympics return next year. The tenth consecutive year, the Glitch City Olympics returns. The emblematic. They have Olympics every year. Let's see. Okay. The emblematic thunder super silver Thunderdome. This time with a representative from the elusive country of Kanyevania. Prime Minister Quincy, who was in charge of the committee, told the Augmented Eye that it wasn't easy getting in that touch with Kanjai, and that we had to abide by some of his religious rules in order to see some of their best competitors come out of the country. Kanye's ma Kanyevania's main religion, Kanyeism, prohibits the existence of nanomachines inside the body, and as such, competitors from said country had to perform specific treatments in order to repel the swarm. It's a temporary solution, but I think it'll do the trick. I'm guessing tacky body suits weren't practical for, for, for sports. There's just like nano machines in the air in Glitch City. They just swarm and get inside. That that's concerning. That, that, that that's a bit worrisome. Okay, well let's go. I mean, I don't think as long. I mean, we'll, we we won't have a lot. shit, 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 shit. I just realized something. I, I'm, I'm getting so fucking loud. I'm getting hyped. But I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. But no, 10 grand for the rent. I need that to pay the rent. I thought, oh, I'm at eight points. I can pay the rent. And he's like, no, I, I, need, I, need, I still need to buy this. I still need to buy. How? How, how is this game? Game. Are you expecting me to, 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 to ship money out of my ass? Okay? And then somehow transmit that into digital form and put it in this game. How am I going to do all this, man? Okay, or woman, or all, all cre- is Sukabon su- How? How's all this possible? Alright, let's go to work. 26th. No signal, okay. Ah, uh, good, good evening. Hey, Jill. Gil is in the back sorting an, an ingredient shipment. I, and I've got things to do. The dog's in charge. Okay, bye. What, why is the dog in charge? Jill, doesn't Jill have seniority? Wait, the dog, what? Okay, first order. Pet me. No. Pet me. No. I'm in charge, and I want you to pet me. Wow, wait, 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 wow, I can't pet Ratshiba. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey, Jay. Won't pet you. You'll pet me sooner or later. They all do. Won't. Will. You called? He said Will, not Gil. Ah. Who the hell is Will? Nobody. Don't be rude with poor Will. There's no Will. Do you need me to psych you up then? Shut up! Who, me? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Ah! You go back to whatever you were doing. Alright. And you, stand by! Only if you pet me. Go! The fuck just happened? 
Oh, welcome back, Virgilio. Well, aren't we spirited today? Welcome to Valhalla, Virgilio. Why do you sound so weirded out? You didn't show up with a bombastic soliloquy. Well, putting an act can be quite can be tiring, you know. So it's all an act then, wasn't it obvious? I get, yeah, at the beginning it wasn't. At the beginning you're just you 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 you're, you're just an uppity asshole fucking with someone just trying to do their job, kind of like streaming Sean. But fuck, I said her. Shit. I said her name, and now I fear I may have summoned her. It's like fucking Beetlejuice. So you want to say her name once. Or Biggie Smalls, you, you know. But you, you know, you, you only need to say that thing's name once, and, and then, it, then it arrives. I, I guess. Would you mind getting me a Bleeding Jane? Sure. If there was Bleeding Jane. Okay. okay, I'm not distracted anymore. Okay. One, two, one, two. Okay. A two six six. Blended. Tatoes drink three times from a mirror and look like fool. Looks like saying Bloody Mary three times in the mirror. Success. A bleeding Jane. Yes, this is just the thing. So tired of putting on an act. Care to explain? It's a long story, I'd honestly rather not talk about it right now. Fair enough. What made you change your mind though? Well, for one thing, it's safer for me now. The pompous buffoon act was mostly a way to avoid raising suspicion. Safer, there's a word that's been... that There's a word that's been losing meaning lately. Wait, that was your way of avoiding suspicion? Yes, hide in plain sight. He's like, oh, this is just a crazy weird man. Now, let's go look for, you know, the, the, the real man who who is a threat to the, the world, or threat to the uh, established powers of the world or something. How do you know... You do know how weird that sounds, right? It sounds weird? I mean, would you suspect the crazy homeless man or, or the crazy street preacher to be the god, to be the mega domestic terrorist that's gonna, you know, uh, seize the means of production and take hold of the government or, or something crazier to steal anarchy? It's like, oh, this is just crazy. He's, a, he, he, he's nothing, you know? You make them believe what they want to believe, you know? You try not to raise suspicion, but you act in a bombastic manner that screams you're there. And everyone dismisses the fool as a buffoon and moves it. Yes. Ooh. 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 Uh, I may misjudge you, Virgilio. I mean, I already sort of like you because my theory is that you're the one who helped say during the whole... After she escaped out of the... Because, say, blacked out or something and she woke up in the hospital or being transported to the hospital. It's like someone assisted her, but she doesn't know who. And the way her and Virgil say and Virgilio reacted seems like, you know, Virgilio was actually helpful. You know, he's like, hey, I assisted you. So he's just redeemed himself as all an act. It's just, hey, he, 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 he's, he's got a meta plan. You know, I may, have, I may have been too quick to judge him, you know. Maybe maybe they made the anger from streaming Chan. Fuck, I said her again! I, I, if I actually say it one more time, she's gonna, I'm going to summon her. I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to summon her and that will not be good. Maybe, maybe I was a bit enraged to certain uh, circumstances. And you know, maybe I just sort of projected that onto him. He, 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 he is not—he's not so bad. He's not so. I, I apologize for, for calling you Virgilio Cunts. I mean, you may might be right if I were talking about hiding myself. If I'm avoiding certain crowds of people, as my behavior might call everyone's attention. But then everyone just decides I'm harmless and disregards me. Yes. Depending on how erratic my actions are, become harder to read, giving me yet another layer of enigma. I. Huh. Oh, congrats. No offense, but I fell right into your plan. I just did miss your actions as those of a fool and moved on. You completely fooled me. Thanks. Say, can you give me something spicy? Sure. Something spicy. Something spicy. Spicy. Let's go. Bleeding. You want another one of these, man? I, mean, I just gave you a bleeding Jane, but do you just want a bunch of these? Fuck it, why not? Why not? It'll be a Bleeding Jane day for you. You're gonna be stone cold sober after all these drinks. All blended. There we go. Here. Aren't you fascinated by spiciness? What's spicy for our humans might not be spicy for other animals. Hell, what's toxic for us might be might not be for their creatures. Do you like spicy things, bartender? I don't mind them, I guess, but I'm not really a fan. That neutral stance is actually weird to come across. Everyone either loves spicy things or hates them with passion. Do you like it? 
But not only in regards to painfully spicy things, but also the way of mild or straight or slight sp mild or slight spice adds to the meal. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I like mild and slight spice. You know, it's a common thing. My family members is like, oh, Marius, you like spicy food, so you like this, right? It's like, no, it's not. I directly like the spicy food. Is that food that is spicy tastes good because of the seasoning and ingredients and you know sp spices that they put in. Is that it tastes good, but a byproduct of that is that it tastes spicier and has a little bit of a burning or a fiery sensation inside your mouth and your tongue, inside your stomach. I can tolerate that, so that's why I eat spicy food. It's not just the burning sensation that makes me like the food, it's that the food tastes good. It's that I can handle the spiciness. You know? Okay, I've always had this dream of opening a curry stand. As things are, I might actually pursue that dream. I would eat at your curry stand, Julio. Let me know if you do. I haven't had curry in ages now. I, I don't think I've ever actually had curry before in my life. Hey, bartender! Call me Jill. I wanted to apologize. Hmm. You put up with me all this time without lashing out. I should apologize for my behavior, and thank you at that. He's apologizing. Aw. Oh, I feel so bad. I, I, I feel like I was mean. I, well, I was mean. I feel, like, I feel so bad now. Don't worry. I actually feel like I was too rude to you last time you came. Granted, you came at a really bad time, but... I should be the one apologizing. You're a client, after all. Well, don't! I'm actually surprised that nobody else has violently lashed out at me yet. Making me curious as to who you really are, though. Is Virgilio even your real name? It might be. It might not. Sometimes I wonder if I'm a magnet for people who hide their identities for assorted pasts. Well, you're a bartender, Jill, and this is a bar. But, you know... How many people who frequent bartenders don't have a lot of help, don't have, like, personal issues or sordid past or, you know, try to hide their, or hide, or hide their true personas from the outside world? Jill, Jamie, you, um, did you say something? Just rambling. Pay, pay me no mind. Now that I think about it, how did you find this bar? I was avoiding some chaps and came to this alley. Huh. Again? Again? My time here, I've heard avoided people and ended up here enough times to make me believe that the original owner built the bar here thinking about the runaway public. You make me sound like a criminal. You're not helping. The expression runaway doesn't just mean people escaping the law, though. You've had people avoiding stalkers or solicitors. I've seen people more stalked by an insistent salesman than a shady figure. Maybe because the salesman is more is a, is a more accurate predator. I don't know. The troublesome part of the city is right near the shopping district. Let them know there's a bar and they'll come. Sorry, I should stop rambling to myself so much. I don't mind it. Do you think I'm sort of... Do you think I'm sort of criminal, though? Like I said, you're not helping. But for all I know, you might be the buffoon I've seen the other days. In any case, can I get something bitter here? On it. Uh, some, something bitter. I want some bitter drink. Let's suplex! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All the rocks and mixed. Okay. Uh, fuck! Fuck! No! I can't. Ah, oh, God. Okay. There, there. We're at six now. Holy shit! I can't. I'm a horrible ass bartender. Two, three, four. They said, "Didn't fuck up the drink." All on the rocks. Well, I did. Well, I did. I didn't. I, 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 I didn't. I didn't. I didn't quick stop. I didn't quick stop. There we go. Hey, I have a suplex. Here. This works. Do you like coffee, Miss Bartender? As weird as it may sound from a smoking bartender, no, I don't. Well, I get it, it's not for everyone. The Cat Boomer the other day, also, I am, I'm not really a fan of coffee. I only drink it when I need it, you know? Like, when I was Evo, and I realized I, I essentially had to be up, I got like four hours of sleep from the last day Evo, and I need to be up like the whole fucking night, or all day and all night, and not be able to sleep or rest. That's when I had, okay, I just got a bowl of coffee, I'm gonna drink this throughout the day. I use it when I need it, you know? Because there are people who's like, oh, I can't function without my coffee, it's like, well, what, what have you done, man? It's like you use it for a picking up because you really need it once. Then you just use it all the time. Then you became numb to it. Now you're dependent on it. You use it when you need it. It's only like, ah, oh, this is, I mean, this this is a coffee day. It's like, oh fuck, I've got like no sleep. I have all this work or shit to do. This, 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 this is this is a coffee. This is a caffeine day. No, you don't get hooked. It's there when you need it. That cat boomer the other day. What about her? Still scared of her? Not really, but she looks so familiar. Maybe you're mixing her up with another cat boomer. No, that's not it. It's like the bandage girl last time. Even with the bandages, there's just something really familiar about her. Maybe you need to stop thinking about it. Answers usually come up when you when you stop stressing out. You might be right. 
Well, I leave you for now, bartender. Thanks for everything. Please come again. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hello, Mr. Detective. Hey, Art. And here we are, another mute person wandering into the bar. Anything I can get you? Gut punch. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Well, th things, th things didn't go very well for him. Uh, I, I take it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fuck! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. All age and mix. He's getting a big gum punch. I'm pretty sure he, uh, he went through some shit. There you go. Here. Oh, you got it right. So, what's up now? A bit of holiday blues, you could say. So, you celebrate Mega Christmas? Why wouldn't I? You look more like a Festivus kind of guy. Is is that is that like is is that what the Jews do? Is is, is Festivus? Uh, is you know is is that the is that the non is that the lower tier holiday for savages? Not not the superior Mega Christmas. Why does everyone keep saying that? I'm not saying Jews are low tier savages. I'm saying you know, the Jews may celebrate that, and they're low tier savages because of that, not because they're Jews because they celebrate Festivus. God, that's. Why the fuck did I say any of that? Well, Festivus is a celebration going against the capitalist madness that is Mega Christmas. And you know, cheapskate. So if you have something to say, say it. I'll refrain. Although, now that I think about it, Holiday Blues is not really tied to a specific celebration. Just the season. A season of consumerist craze. Mega Christmas is just a mockery of what the real Christmas once was. I mean, the season has slowly become enslaved to the corporations. I mean, isn't it, already, isn't it already like that right now? We got people killing each other for Black Friday deals to get their, you know, kids' Christmas presents. And all, all this insane shit, you know? What is... Like... It's like post war Like, didn't the consumerism boom happen in, like, the 50s or something? Like, post during, like, the post-World War II boom in America? I, I think I remember my history co correctly. So, didn't... I mean... It's been like this for a while, man. It's only it's only gonna get you know more and more consumerist, as less people care about the Jesus. I mean, the season slowly become enslaved over time. Holiday spirit can only be manipulated so much. But then came that Turbo Male guy. He started a yearly tradition of dressing up like Santa and the ring. Turbo Male. That can't be his ring name. It is Turbo Male. Was such a tacky name was accepted. His partner was Buster Master, his rival was Dr. Chris Max. Tacky names are not Turbo Mail sounds like something critical would chum up which fucking critical would come up with. I mean, and Santa in the ring, like you see the WWE during for Christmas time. They think they have Santa in the ring. When I'm Santa got hit by a car and died. I, I I like that plot line. I mean, I knew there was a wrestler that dressed as Santa every year. I also knew that the guy became insanely popular and the stunt got out of control. Of course, that's the part everyone say sings about. Santa, Santa became Mega Santa thanks to the Redmond fan. Is whoa, holy shit! Is Mega Christmas born out of a WWE plotline? Is that what happened? A pro wrestling pro uh, pro wrestling created Mega Christmas and pro wrestling fused. Holy shit! I I I I want to live in this world. I want to live in this world. I don't care about government corruption. Or the massive income inequality, or the, or the crime, and all this insane shit that happens. The, uh, we we have th this is this is the perfect world. Th th this is this is the per Dana exists in this world, and Christmas, okay, the best holiday of the year, this time of the year, professional wrestling is fused. To oh my god, oh my god, I, I, I have an erection right now. I actually do. I'm not joking at all. Mega Santa sees the air of his ways and becomes the mighty Mega Santa, or renaming the holiday Mega Christmas. And then every company jumped on the bandwagon and Christmas was Mega Christmas before anyone noticed. So you're telling me that the guy who somehow managed to rename the holiday went by the ring name Turbo Mail? Yep. That makes the whole holiday sound like a joke. The holiday is a joke. And you're telling me you don't celebrate Festivus? So, no, I don't. Do you know what kind of people celebrate Festivus? The kind that's so lame and bland that they can only talk about how they're better because they celebrate Festivus. It, it, it's like people who go to the corporate, the the super corporate chain store hot topic talk, how they talk about how they're so non-conformist. Like those jerks who only eat nuke and think they're better than everyone else. I see. So 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 extra so super douchey hipsters. Yeah yeah. 
Anything else I can get you? And, and non-conformists, you know. Give me a fringe weaver, will you? Sure. Let's give him a fringe weaver. Fringe. Oh, shit, boy. Art, you're getting blasted tonight, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, that Comatrine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, brother. Oh, what the fuck am I saying? Jesus Christ. What? Are retarded? Brit. What's wrong with me? I'm insane. Aged. Aged. Mixed. The fuck was that? Here. Right, thanks. So, any issues with the city lately? What's the word on the streets? Shouldn't, shouldn't I be asking that? There's nothing new, really. The lynching gangs, the lynchings of white knight stuff, so there's that. Really? Something about the armor. I haven't gotten much on that one yet. All in all, the madness following the attack on the bank seemed to have settled down a bit. That's good to hear. Have any other details about the attack emerged yet? All records of whatever happened there have been long deleted. Security cams, system logs, everything was wiped. Whatever happened there has become more of a mystery now. I wonder if Say plans on testifying. Does anyone know if Say went in there in the first place? Maybe the wiping of everything actually protects her somehow. Hey bartender, you okay? Sorry, I got distracted. There's not much to say, really. There's the odd slay rumor here and there. Like the vending machine's taser is malfunctioning and applying more strength. Or that the rider of the last rain in the world is actually living here as a brain in the jar. I remember Brain Guy, but from those kind of rumors, but those are kinds of rumors you hear from crackheads. Crackheads might hold one last, crackheads might hold that one last piece of info you need, but you also hear crap like that. I see. Anyway, I'm leaving. Happy New Year, bartender. Please come again. Okay then, um, who would know? Wait, she's out. Gil, you there? Yeah, taking a break? Let me know if someone comes in. All right, that, that, that's the, that, we're on a break. They'll be in the Valhalla. It's nice to talk to Arts, you know. Except, you know, Br Br Brennan Jar guy. That's right. He, I, I've not seen him in in quite a while. I, I wanna. I, 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 I kind of miss that Brain and Jar man. Okay, you know, it's like, oh, we only get to see him one time. He doesn't, he doesn't get to make a return appearance anywhere. Oh uh, yeah, okay. Virgilio, he recognizes uh, Stella and Say, okay. I don't know, maybe they have some sort of history together, or they something happened many eons ago or something. Who who knows, all right. I'm going to save progress. Oh, shit. Uh, time, to, time to start overlapping the Say. There we go. Okay, there we go. I'll, I'll start here. Actually, these. Okay, alright, peace. See ya.